Now let's look at some sector area problems. Sector area problems are very much like arc length problems. So first let's just talk about some vocabulary. So if you have a circle, and this is the center of the circle, and you have two radii, then that defines an arc. And that's what we talked about before, before is to find how to find the distance from A to B here. What we're actually going to try to do now is we're going to try to find the area of ABC here. So we're going to try to find the area of ABC, where ABC is simply the shaded area right here. And the trick to this problem is, is that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So knowing the radius, you know the area of the entire circle. If this was a portion of the circle, then it's going to be dependent on the fraction of the circle times the area of the circle. And in, re in uh, degrees, that's just going to be m over 360 times pi r squared. And that's going to be our area of the sector formula. And it kind of makes sense. If this was 90 degrees, say, 90 divided by 360 is 1 fourth. The area of this sector will be 1 fourth of the circle because this angle is 1 fourth of the whole circle. And we have, uh, also have a formula for um, radians. Our radians would be very similar, but it's going to be theta over 2 pi, where theta is the angle, and it's times pi r squared. So the formulas are actually identical, you're just defining the fraction of the circle in a different way. So let's look at an example. Let's look at a circle of radius 8, and let m be 80 degrees. So the sector area, since this is degrees, will be m divided by 360 times pi r squared. This is 80 over 360 times pi times 8 squared, or 64. Let's simplify the 80 over 360. The zeros can't go away, right? So that's 80 over 360 is equal to 8 over 36, and I think that 4 goes into both of those. That would be 2 over 9. So that's 2 ninths times 81 pi. No, 64 pi, my bad. 64 pi, right? 8 times 8 is 64. So your final answer is going to be 128 pi over 9. And if you wanted to get an approximate answer, you could go ahead and make that into a decimal and times it by 3.14. And your, approximately, your approximate answer will be 44.68. And this was in feet. This would be feet, square feet. If it was in inches, square inches, etc. If you're given a very similar problem but in radians, let's say that r would be 10, and now let theta equal to 3 pi over 4. Now what you could do is just convert 3 pi over 4 into degrees, and then you'd be fine. Or you could use the formula sector area is equal to theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. That's going to be 3 pi over 4 over 2 pi times pi times 10 squared. And this part's easy. That's just going to be 100 pi. This is a little more difficult, so let's take, let's actually work over here on the side for a minute. Let's do 3 pi over 4 over 2 pi. 
So the problem here is we have a fraction over a, a denominator, so we want to just have a one numerator, one denominator. So I'm going to multiply this side by 4, and I'm going to multiply this side by 4. The 4s here cancel, and we get 3 pi. Here we get 8 pi, so we get 3 pi over 8 pi. The pi's cancel, and then you get 3 eighths. So your sector area is 3 eighths of 100 pi. I'm going to try to simplify that if I can. Let's see, is there a number that goes into 108? I think 4 does. That becomes 25, and that becomes a 2. My final answer is going to be 75 pi over 2. If I wanted an approximate answer, I could go 75 times pi divided by 2, and I would get about 118. So if I round that to three decimal places, I'd get 117.81. Let's start to look at a harder problem. Now let's say that what you have is you have S is equal to 12 pi. And uh, let's say theta is equal to 3 pi over 4, and you wanted to find sector area. Well, when we start here, we get sector area is equal to theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. We have theta, that's fine, right? That's 3 pi over 4 times pi r squared, but we notice we don't have r. So if we had area, we could find it, but we don't. But we do have arc length. So let's go back to the arc length problem. And there, that's s is equal to theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r, or s is equal to theta r. s is 12 pi. Theta is 3 pi over 4 times r. You multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal here is 4 over 3 pi, 4 over 3 pi, R in that case would be, let's say, the pi's will cancel. The 12 and the 3 cancel, that becomes a 4. R is 16. That's a little complicated. Let me make sure and check that. Here I multiply by the reciprocal 4 over 3 pi, and they all cancels. Here, the pi and the pi cancel. The 12, that should be 48 over 3, which is 16. The 12 and the 3 cancel. That becomes a 1. That becomes a 4. 4 times 4 is 16. That's right. R is 16. Now that R is 16, then we can plug it back into the sector area problem. So now we have sector area is equal to 3 pi over 4 pi times 16 squared. I don't know 16 squared on my, in my head, but I have a calculator, so that's 256. Let's see, that's 3 over 2 pi, right? And that's over 2 pi. So let's see what's going on here. This is going to equal to the 4, multiply this by a 4 over 1, and that by 4 over 1, the 4's cancel. And the pi's are going to cancel. So there I get 3 over 8. Right? The pi cancels with the pi. I multiply by 4 over 1. I multiply by 4 over 1. That becomes 8, and that becomes 3. So it's 3 eighths of 256 pi. And 256 goes into 8 32 times. 
So that's 3 times 32, so that's 96 pi. And that's a much more involved problem. It's the same idea. We're basically, if we back up for a minute, we're just using our sector area formula. The only problem is we don't have R. So that we use our arc length formula to find R, and then we plug it in. And then we're done with sector area problems.